Okay, I believe this is the final piece of tuning, so maybe we'll be using metal cassette to set up BIOS. So it's minus 20 and minus 22 here. No change signs yesterday, so let's start recording. It records a little bit hot, plus two, I will remove level, okay. On 300 gears we have set level, so it's source, it's tape, source, tape. So now we will adjust frequency. We will go first to one kilohertz. Looks good. Now 10 kilohertz. You see, my adjustment yesterday did change, so I will adjust on 15. So as there was a wrong position for the tape, so we adjust it properly. So let's. Come on, it's so small, minor change, really. Okay. I'm just turning like about two, two, three degrees. And this changes for a couple of decibels. So I'm going down here and going up. Okay, let's go smoothly down. Oops. I believe I will keep it here. It should be fine. It's almost almost there. See how precise levels are. And if you would need to do it precise, we have calibration just to put it right in place. So you see, so I change it probably like to 11.30 <laughs> to adjust and get it right. So now let's check with calibration. Okay, it shows a little bit off. So let's reduce the level a bit. Oh, why? Let's, let's get it back. Let's go to 300 gears. So what we need, we need to have a level back. So it's a source. Come on, oh, it's not recording, sorry. Now source, tape, no source, now tape, just a little bit more, okay, like that, source, tape, okay, 300 gears, we're good, now let's go to 15 kilohertz, make sure that we're good, so 15 kilohertz, we're good either. So the same levels. So now we will go to the calibration mode. And on calibration, we see that levels a bit off. So that's where we need to adjust our calibration adjustments here. Like there is two adjustments for indicator levels and two for calibration level and frequency. So just a little bit on level. Okay, and we need to set the proper level for calibration bias. Okay, like that. So now we will turn off. I verify recording. 15 kilohertz. Source tape. It's due to this tape has a very poor pure face. I had to disassemble this tape. Or oh, it's it's the very end of this tape. Let's rewind it back. I like Akai tape transfer. I believe it's best in the world. Even after looking at different Nakamichi transports and Sony transports and GVC and other guy and so on. Hitachi. Even if I like Hitachi, due to like, cups are like almost this size. So I have it here. 
let me show you how big it is. So this is Kapstan from Hitachi. You see how <laughs> big it is. So, and even if like uh, Akai 750 has a huge Kapstan, uh, I still believe this tape transport is the best. So Akai has been producing it for maybe 15 years with different variations installing direct drive motor or regular motor or whenever. Okay, let's try recording over again. Levels in place. Maybe a little bit. Just a little bit. Can do more if I need. Just a little bit. Oops, it's minus 20, minus 20 here, let's check levels here, you see, it's pretty nice. So, I believe you're done, so now we may check on the normal tape. So, first of all, we will check levels, let's do recording. So normal tape has a pretty good face, levels almost there, little bit like that. See, now we should run calibration, calibration shows pretty well, it just started to light red segments, Feel just reduce the level by like five minutes it's, it's already in there so it's cool next part is a chrome tape let's check so it's 15 kilohertz i remind you we record in 15 kilohertz let's check the levels okay so levels is there so it's a source it's tape how does it build it's fine R. Let's switch to the calibration mode, and you see it's perfectly clear. So we've done this calibration. I hope you enjoy it. So there is a couple things. Uh, it's the levels. This two. Let me take some tool. Okay, this blue one is the level. This one and this one. Uh, this first two is a frequency response for normal tape this frequency response for 70 microsecond for met metal and chrome tapes uh, this two I don't recommend you touch unless you know what you're doing so it's a balanced DC so you see there is a arrow to the measurement point here you see so that's where you need to measure your voltage and adjust it so it would be zero or as close to zero as possible and same for the right channel so just to make sure that uh, amplifier will be in balanced mode and everything will be fine uh, these coils i don't have schematics i'm sure that it's two coils connected to normal and chrome tape levels um, but I would not recommend you adjust this unless you know what you're doing, have schematic and instructions. Uh, this two right, is for record levels. Uh, this two is for indicator level. And uh, this two for calibration level and bias indicator. Okay, and this one is minus 40 decibel on indicator. So that's how. I, I probably didn't show you, but I set minus 40 decibel using millivolt meter and then adjust it so minus 40 segment should start lighting here. I hope you enjoy it. So here is a direct input switch. You see how long the shaft is and switch is just right here. These bypasses.
all Dolby circuits. So this is record Dolby circuit, this is playback Dolby circuit. There is no any adjustments. And here you see these two wires and these two wires. They go to the switch here uh, when Dolby is off. So it will bypass all circuits. So signal will go directly from the uh, playback amplifier to the output switch, to the output connector. So I pretty much enjoy it working with this deck. Here is the bias. So there is two biases uh, for normal position and for HX Pro, one is here and one is there under belts, under wires. So you need to tune up with HX Pro. I usually always use HX Pro on. Uh, then when you done it, turn off HX Pro and adjust these two to have proper bias on left and right channel on normal tape. And then adjust like there is two, one for chrome and one for metal. So it's not, like doesn't, a guy doesn't have separate adjustments on the each channel. It's just one common adjustment for chrome and metal tapes. So that's how we tune it up, how it works. I hope you enjoy it. You would be able like, to make proper adjustments yourself. Thank you. See you in the next series.